Clonables were made so that you can spend time designing important things rather than minute details. These six clonables were built to save you time. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first clonable that we are going to cover today is going to be the style guide template. Now, style guides are super important when you're building out a website. It helps you understand what every single text box looks like, what every color looks like, what your entire website should look like, depending on how you're going to build it. So when you have a style guide, it's easy to understand what the logo is, how it's going to look like on a black background, on a dark one, what the card should look like, what the H1 should look like. And it takes time to build style guides, especially if they scale down and up with your systems. So this clonable here allows you to do just that. It allows you to create a style guide out of nothing, essentially, super simply by copying the clonable here or by creating a clone of this project. And when you do that, you can then change all of the information here, all the style guides here by changing the H1. And we can change this to maybe be bold. And now every time that we create a new page or a new project here, we can then use this style guide every single time. And we can work off of the style guide for all of our projects if we decide to make this our own company style guide or our own agency style guide if you run a freelance business or anything like that. So having a style guide predisposed right at your fingertips is honestly amazing. The next clonable here is going to be the GSAP typewriter text animation. This clonable would save people a ton of time because I know personally myself, I've looked up how to do this way back in the past when I was first starting out and this would have been super helpful. So when you are creating a hero or any type of big text that you want to do this effect, it's usually pretty difficult to do if you have no development skills or if you don't really understand how this is done. So having this clonable allows you to take this exact animation, this exact styling and paste it directly into your project. So by doing that, you can copy this entire effect and have it work directly into your website and have it be in your hero. The next one here is similar to the last thing that I just covered, which is an infinite marquee. And I don't know about you, but I've spent a ton of time trying to figure out the perfect spacing, the perfect how to loop this marquee one after another and going deep into the animation panel and trying to just figure this out when I was first starting out. So having this infinite marquee, infinite loop helps you get there without actually having to put in any of the effort. Now, it's important to know that these type of clonables are good so that you can save time when you're actually building. But if you don't know how to actually build this yourself, then it's probably best that you actually go in and you, you try to figure this out on your own. So this is essentially how this clonable works. You have all of your actual layers here, and then you have the HTML embed, which is dictating what the actual layers should be doing. So in this case, they're all moving to the left and we can loop it with the logos and with text, anything that we want to add to this, it works simultaneously. So that's a great, great feature to have with this clonable. You can just simply copy paste this into your project and you've saved yourself a ton of time. Now, the next three clonables are not essential towards your work, but they will add a little bit of flair, a little bit of sauce to your project. And that is what we're going for here. So this project here is a moving gradient background, which you can add to your project. Now, if you can imagine where you would add this to your project, I can imagine it's maybe something in the background of a hero, maybe something in the background of a big marquee text, something like that is where I would add this. So if we open up the live site, we can see that the gradient itself is slowly moving around the background. If we want to see how this actually works, we have to go into the layers here, open up the page wrapper and we can see everything that is going on inside here. So in this case, we are using some animations here and we're essentially moving the circles back and forth and we have a layer on top that's blurring everything, if I'm not mistaken. So we can go ahead and check it here. We have the gradients and then the gradient wrapper. So we add a blur on top of everything else on top of the circles, but the circles are being moved up and down left and right. And again, this is not critical towards the efficiency of your project, but it's just a cool little thing to add if you do want to have that extra touch in your website. Next up is something that a lot of e-commerce sites could be using, and that is this CMS plotter tool. So to show how this actually works, if we go ahead and check out the live site, that might be a bit better, but we can see that as we click into one of the items, like for example, these digital products here, and we can hover over any of these items, we can see that we can add these notes essentially on top of our products. So if you can imagine Imagine an e-commerce store or anything that has a lot of different products. If we have a big image like this, it's important to showcase what product we're actually talking about. Now, another use case for this would be a real estate site, something with a big map. You can showcase individual locations maybe. And there is actually that feature here. So for example, we're showcasing a water park here. We can showcase the different parts of that water park. And this is a different type of clonable that you wouldn't really see. It's not necessarily the most thought after one, but this kind of feature, this kind of clonable allows you to add the 
that customizability to your project that you wouldn't necessarily have just out of the box with a simple clonable, with a simple template, anything like that. So this kind of project here, adding these highlighted features allows you to showcase different individual features of your product that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do without it. Now, the last clonable here is definitely not 100% useful for your workflow, and I'm not even sure if you're ever going to use it, but I just had to show it because of how cool it was to see someone actually build this using Webflow. So this is a, if I open the live site here, this is a fully working Apple Notes page only using Webflow. And the person showcases how it was actually built using the, the features here, but this is a fully working Apple Notes. We can type in, we can add our own account. I made my own account so I can go ahead and create my own notes. So you can see how this is actually being built using one of the notes here themselves. And we can't actually add our own notes without cloning this project, but you can see that we can even minimize this window and it acts as a display for an Apple background or something like that. And then this is a link to the person's project page or their website from Webflow. So this acts as a portfolio piece, which is absolutely incredible. And I'm not even sure if there's anything else that you can say about this other than that. This is pretty incredible that someone even decided to do this or had the knowledge to be able to do this simply with no code tools. And you can clone this by yourself in Webflow and you can see how it actually works if we open it up in Webflow. So again, this is something that you can clone right now and you can understand how someone built this using no code tools. And that's incredibly valuable to understand how everything works, how all the systems come together with member stack attributes, Webflow with make, which was previously another automation tool. But this kind of build will help you understand how you can do something yourself with another type of project. It's not necessarily going to be an Apple notes copy, but something in that realm is going to be extremely useful if you know how to do it using this clonable. So guys, that was six clonables that you might not have known in Webflow. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys found anything useful in this video, do let me know down below. If you want more of these kind of videos, also let me know down below. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.